afternoon everyone how are we all hope we are all good just wait till everyone joins me it's gonna find myself on my iPad okay so I'm not sure, is this the first live I've done this year? I can't remember. Maybe I did one at the start of the year. Who knows? I right know I haven't done many. I'm just going to adjust the camera ever so slightly. So if you're here, I'm sorry. You might get a little bit of motion sickness. Just want to lift it up a little bit. There we go. So you can't see so much of my really torn paper that I have down here, I really need to fix that. But good afternoon, everyone. If you're here, jump in, say hello. Let me know that you are here. Love having you all jump on when I craft. So I'm actually gonna try and zoom in a little bit. Hey, Linda, how are you? Anita, how are you? I'm good, thank you for asking. Now I'm going to try and zoom in a little bit, so if I lose you guys a bit, whoops, and it doesn't want to zoom, there we go, I got it, okay, so thank you everyone for joining me, right, now more people will jump on I'm sure as uh, Facebook lets them know that I am live, but I thought I'd start, I don't want you all sitting around twiddling your thumbs waiting. You're here early, so why not jump in and start creating? First thing I'm going to do is uh, just remind you all about celebration. So hopefully you've heard about celebration and you know that with every $90 in an order, you get a free item and every $180 in order, you get to choose from a second level item. Well, today I'm going to be creating with what has turned out to be the cutest stamp set that is very, very popular. This, the Gangs All Me stamp set. This is a free one with $90 in an order. And it's really, really cute. When I first saw it, I just went, oh, it didn't really float my boat, you know? I'm not really a whimsical type of person. But then I started seeing lots of samples with it and I went, oh, hello, this is really nice. So I'm actually going to create a card with this today. So I'll talk about the rest of um, the items in celebration later on. But first of all, I wanted to make this card. How cute is this? This is really, really simple card, okay? Really easy. And we've just masked the little meerkats and masked the sun. So really nice. Let's get cracking. You'll just need for this a crumb cake card all right just a standard a4 piece of cardstock i cut in half fold and then that creates my card base and looks like i might need a new blade on my trimmer and then another piece of whisper white that's just going to sit on top a little bit smaller and it is four inches by five and three quarter inches okay and what we're going to do first is stamp our little meerkats and some other things. Now this one I'm gonna step up a little bit, okay? I decided I wanted to also use the little cactuses that come in the set. So this is the set. I'm gonna use these cute little dudes here. And I thought I'd put some cactus in. So I'm gonna stamp them first up. Now this one, I've stamped them in black and then used a blender pen to color them in and give them like a furry type look like as if they got you know, fur which they do um, I didn't want to use blends because that's like too neat a finish so I just used a blender pen and and got that sort of effect which I think has turned out really really well but this time around I'm not going to use the black I'm actually going to use the crumb cake color ink so just going to mount up our little meerkats find my crumb cake ink Hey Janice, thanks for joining. I hope you are all well. Alright, so I'm just going to stamp our little meerkats. 
All right, and now I want to use my blender pen to draw out some of that color on them. So if you haven't used blender pens before, they're really, really cool. I don't know what's in them, like as in what the liquid is in them, but they're really good. And you normally don't need an ink pad or anything else. You just draw in the ink from what you've stamped. Now saying that, not all the inks react the same. So I may not be able to draw much from this. We'll see how we go. And you just keep coloring, drawing that ink from what you've stamped. And you'll see a little bit of color building up. Now the only thing with the um, blender pens is that if you go over the same spot too much, your paper will start to peel. So it'll like go into those little balls. And that's what's starting to happen around here. So I'm just going to draw the ink off the top of the ink pad, I think, because I don't want the paper to go all a bit funny. So you just squeeze your ink pad like that, get a bit of ink on the lid, get your um, blending pen in there and pick up some ink. And this is how I colored the other ones on the original card. And I thought with this one I'd be able to pick up the color from the stamped image, but it's not wanting to do that. Some ink pads, uh, some ink, sorry, work really, really well with the blender pens like that. The crumb cake's not one of them, obviously. Hey, Janice. Oh, yes, I have. I actually have um, a tendon problem with the tendons from my thumb. And uh, first of all, I thought it was a uh, carpal tunnel. But um, I went back to the doctor and she did a few more tests and went, no, I think it's, um, she gave it some fancy name, some tendons down here. So she gave me a referral to go to a, uh, what are they called? I keep forgetting the name of them. Physiotherapist or whatever. And then I went, oh, that's going to cost me a lot of money, you know. So I did my own Google search because she gave me a sheet on what's, what the problem was. So, you know, Dr. Google came to the rescue and told me exactly the type of brace that I needed and that's all the physiotherapist was going to be able to do for me. So, yeah, I went to the chemist, ordered in. $25 later, it's doing the trick. And the doctor, funny thing was, the doctor said to me, oh, you need to rest it for four to six weeks. I went, mmm. I'm sorry, that is never going to happen in my world. I can't create with just my left hand. <laughs> Be surprised at things that I have learned to do left-handed. My writing's getting quite good. Left-handed. All right, so I'm just literally picking up the ink from the lid. Using my blender pen, just really roughly colouring. Because I want like that rough fur sort of look uneven colored type of look I don't want like a smooth color I think they look pretty cool are you crafting with me Lisa cool oh thank you Margaret hello for anyone I have missed saying hello to who has appeared all right so now I said I wanted to do a few cactuses so I want to put one sort of to the side give it a bit of depth like some in the background and I'm going to put on my little mask. So to create your little mask, all I've done is stamp the meerkats on copy paper, scrap copy paper and cut them out with scissors. And yes, I did cut out the little bits in here as well. It was a bit tricky, but I did it. Now you can do it on a post-it note, but I find post-it notes curl and drive me insane. So um, since we don't have that two-way pen anymore, that glue that you used to be able to put on, let dry, and it'd be like removable. I went to Spotlight, and I know I shouldn't recommend going other places, but I used to get this um, similar years and years ago, probably about 10 years ago at the scrapbook shop, and it used to call it blue dotty roll-on. It probably had a technical term, but it's removable ink, like removable glue dots, sorry. So I just... Um, cut out the little meerkats and I've put some of that on the back of them whoops and if I can get them lined up you've got a brace on your wrist Anita yeah 
Oh yeah, there's no exercises apparently for this. It's just rest and a a brace. And I went, mm, I could do the brace bit. I can't necessarily do the rest bit. <laughs> but I have noticed since I've had this brace on, it is getting a little bit better. So I think it's going to take a longer, a lot longer, I think, than normal to heal itself. But um, I you know I can't. I just have to live with that because I can't stop creating. You know. All right, so. We're going to stamp the cactuses. All right, I'm going to use Call Me Clover for these. So I've just put a um, mask over the meerkats. And because there's um, a gap in the stamp of the meerkats, this little last guy actually cuts out separately. So... I, didn't, I thought I'd done something wrong when I was cutting and then went, oh no, he's fallen off. Now I know why. All right, so we're just going to pop a cactus over here. One over here. And why not another one there? Right. And I've just realized I'm going to need another um mask because i put three cactuses on there and i was only planning to do two so let's just create another mask quickly we'll cut that out in a second i just want to get these um cactuses colored because i'm hoping that the call me clover might react better with the pen the blender than the crumb cake did and it is so you're just getting a little bit of color there I don't want a lot and the tops of flowers so I'm going to bring in um, a different color just to color in the flower see how quick these blender pens are to, just to get a little bit of color on they're excellent. You don't need any colouring skills whatsoever. You know, I've actually fallen in love with this little me cats. And in our house, they're called mini cats. Because um, my daughter always thought that's what their name was um, growing up when we'd go to the zoos and we'd see me cats and you watch documentaries on them because they're so cute so you like you can't help but watch documentaries and stuff on them and she would always call them mini cats and that's what she thought they were called for years and years and years they were mini cats in our house so yeah all right just a little bit of pink on top for the flowers trying not to get any of that green blending out so i'm sort of like just dabbing the pink so that I don't blend any of that green I think blender pens are one of our forgotten tools you know so what's everyone's favorite celebration item I'm always curious and amazed at the answers when I ask this because everyone's got such different opinions all right so now move the meerkats out of the way we're nearly there. I'm going to. I've already got blue on one of these cactuses. I'm just going to now cover up our cactuses because we don't want to get them any more colour. All right, I shall cut out this one. I don't need to worry about colouring, cutting out the little hairs of these because I don't think it's going to be too much of a tragedy if they get covered with the background colours. Oh, happy birthday to you, yes, I love that. Anything floral for me, really. 
is uh, yeah, pretty good. Poppy Sweet and the Tropical Sweet from the mini catalogue. Yeah, they're really nice. So what's everyone's favourite from Salivation and mini catalogue? I think I've got, yeah, a lot of the mini catalogue already. Got lots of wonderful classes planned with all the stuff I've got. And I have everything from Salivation. That's pretty sad, isn't it? All right, just a little bit of the removable ink. Oh, I keep saying ink. It's glue, Norelle. It's glue. All right, okay. And I have a little sun here. I need to put more glue on the back, not ink. I'm just going to put a little sun there. And now we're going to bring out our brayer, my own brayer. Clubhouse set, yes, Anita. I haven't got to play with that one yet. I do have it. Birthday Bonanza, Lisa. Yeah. I, I, every single suite in that mini catalogue is just amazing. I don't have them all yet. I'm working my way through. Okay, so now I am going to... And that, that uh, sun is just from the one-inch uh, circle punch. So, and again, that's just a bit of uh, copy paper. So everything is covered. We're just going to now get our crumb cake on our roller by the dock. Okay, cool. The kerchief all exclusive kit. Yes, got that. Haven't played with it. Uh, you know what I do? I get everything and then I just get too overwhelmed because I have too much and I don't know what to play with first. But I'm going to get there. Now, everything is covered. Yes. That's not on properly, is it? Oh, we'll see how we go. All right, so I'm just going to bray it across. I just want a bit of like sand in the background because me cats are from the desert. Now I'm going to be gentle as I do this because I don't want to lift any of that masking that I have there. So really gently, still making sure I get lots of color on there and I can always come back so I think that's going to do now for the crumb cake all right and then I'm just going to grab the yellow they did outdo themselves this year Anita I agree problem is we all want it all <laughs> our budget won't always cope with it all and I keep giving myself a budget what I'm going to spend mm. Yeah, you're probably all like me. You don't stick to it. I don't. Never do. Alright, so now Daffodil Delight across the middle. Alright, and then our Pumpkin Pie for the top of our sunset. Then I'm going to come back and blend them in better. And I find with these foam rollers, you know, um, even though there looks like there's colour on it, it doesn't transfer off when you use other colours easily. They're really cool. I love them. I'm going to turn this one around so I've got something to hold. Yes, budgets are meant to be broken, Jenny. Exactly right. Alright, I'm going to go a bit stronger with orange at the top. And then hopefully you can blend it all in. You can always make a new budget. Yes, I do. Mine's a um, flowing budget. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Ebbs and flows. <laughs> but hey, it's only money. You know, can't take it with you. Hey, so... And it make, keeps us all sane and makes us happy. So that's my justification. All right, I think I'm nearly done with the blending of the orange and the yellow. Pretty happy with that. Now I want to bring back that crumb cake and do a little bit 
down the bottom. You've got Grace's Garden, Ginny. Yes. Beautiful. I actually have a stamping by mail registration open for Grace's Garden at the moment. Really pretty. And with my stamping by mails, if you haven't um, been recently and checked out the page, I now also offer tutorials only. So for anyone who's a fellow demonstrator and you want the eight tutorials, because I always do eight projects, um, sometimes more, but normally it's eight, um, you can actually purchase the tutorials. So, or if you're from overseas, you can get the tutorials. All right, so let's get this desert a little bit darker. I'm always worried when I do this that I have actually forgotten to mask something and it's glaringly obvious and I'm just not seeing it. Fingers crossed. Your friend said I should make a up the creek without a paddle card. You know what? Someone that is, yes, you should do that. Because someone else said to me, um, they purchased that set and that's what their husband said. That's them up the creek without a paddle. So he thought it was a perfect set for them to buy. <laughs> Alrighty, now pull off our masks. Very gently. Alright, now the glue, removable glue, if your fingers are clean, should roll off without a problem and not leave a mark. If you have dirty fingers, it's going to leave a dirty mark, like mine just did there. Uh, uh. I thought my hands were clean, but obviously playing with ink, not happening. I have an adhesive remover I could use, but I don't know if that's going to take the ink off, so I'm a bit hesitant to try it. Okay, so now the sun, I have used a blender pen to get that sun looking like it has, like it is, I mean. So just use Daffodil Delight with that. grab my blender pen and I just went round in circles so you clean your blender pen the same way you do your aqua pens so just run it on some scrap paper so I'm going to try and work this sun around in a circle as much as my hand will let me <laughs> Obviously, I'm not very good at drawing circles, but, you know, <laughs> I think it's going to look okay. You can fiddle with this for hours, but I think it's going to be just about done. There you go, doesn't look too bad. Not as good as that one, is it? Ah. Draw a bird above the cactus and the smear of the cactus is you know what from <laughs> Ah, Jenny, that's funny. <laughs> yes, true, since when a cactus is totally clean anyway. I don't know, I don't have seen many cactuses in Australia. I'm sure we have them out back, whenever we go out back. We went to a cactus farm in Lightning Ridge once, 
And we only went because we'd never been there. We've been Lightning Ridge lots of times. Never been to the cactus place. And we went, oh, surely there can't be much there. Really? What's to see? Oh my gosh, we were blown away. There is so many different types of cactuses. Wow. It was amazing. All right, so now I am going to use the Stamparatus to stamp the sentiment because I don't want to have to like muck it up and then put another piece of cardstock on to cover up where I mucked it. And because I'm stamping on quite strong color, I want it a strong um, black. So first time stamping is not gonna give me enough ink. So we're just gonna put this here. Hopefully it's straight. I have real problems putting these stickers on these stamps because I have a crooked eye and I can never line them up properly. I just, oh. I'm sure everyone else doesn't have a problem. Right. Memento. Right, see how that's not a real dark, strong black. Oops. Like this one. So I'm going to do it again. Sorry, I'm not looking at comments. What are you all talking about? Hey, Nicole. Thank you for joining me. Oh, thank you, Lisa. That looks amazing. You need your glasses on, honey. No. <laughs> thank you. All right, so then we're just going to do it again. I'm north of Brisbane. Thank you, Kathy, for answering that. I didn't see that comment. Yeah, I'm about, I don't know, 40 minutes north of Brisbane. There we go. I'm really happy with how that came out. Nice and strong. And you see what I did? I, it's a, a rubber stamp and I didn't take the mat out. And it's still stamped okay. Anyway... Is what it is and it all worked out fine all right so then we are just going to glue that to the front of the card you could use dimensionals you could you know add more layers like that make this smaller add a um, yellow layer or a green layer behind it but I wanted to keep this quite simple so just a bit of glue and then the card is done Okay, done. Wasn't that fun? Handmade, not hormone. Yes. You could emboss. You could do lots and lots of things. Thunderstorms, Jenny. Oh, okay. I love a good storm. All right, there we go. There's our original Meerkat card and our stepped up Meerkat card. So all I've done differently is I've stamped the Meerkats in crumb cake rather than black and I've added the cactuses. Still masked the same, sponge the same with the uh, sponge brayers. This one I've added a little bit more colour. Um, but yeah, that's it. So thank you for watching everyone. Now, if you're not familiar with the celebration, this meerkat, the gang's all here, gang's all me, stamp set, is free with a $90 order during celebration, which runs till 31st of March. And if you don't have the catalogs or the celebration brochure and you don't already purchase from another demonstrator, please let me know. I can happily send you the catalogs. And in this book, you'll see the purple circle. Those items are free with a $90 order. The red circles, they are. those items are free with a $180 order. And with each item that is free, you've got all these lovely samples great inspiration and there's even videos so um i think i posted this video up yesterday on my facebook page brian pilling from head office did a great video on masking with these meerkats okay and then there's lovely dyes it's not just all stamps you get for free you can get dyes again really cool samples and these ones these lovely lily pad stamps are actually reversible 
So the one stamp does both the solid and the detailed image. You just turn the stamp over. They are really, really cool, very clever, and I, I love them. And there's even paper that you can get for free. So the Lily Impressions Designer Series paper, free with a $90 order. Really cool. There's twine and sequins. Lots of great things, fantastic samples, beautiful card kit. This card kit is perfect. If you know someone who doesn't like to stamp, then all the stamping in this is done for you. You just assemble. So you just pop all the elements out of the, the sheets and assemble. Really, really cool. I love that set. Wonderful designer series paper. This coordinates really well with our honeybee stamps and dies in the mini catalog. Fantastic. A good sentiment stamp. And of course, a wonderful punch. I got this one um, Friday, yet to play with it. So going to uh, do that very soon. Yeah, so really wonderful. Even an Asian inspired, that's really cool. And this is a really nice bundle. It's actually the stamp set and an embossing folder. So not very often we have like a, a bundle of a stamp set and an embossing folder. Normally it's a stamp set and a punch or a stamp set and framelits or dies. Um, but this is an embossing folder, so it's really different. Yes, I have that. I haven't played with it yet. <laughs> and then this beautiful little ladybug stamp set. Oh, love this. This you get automatically for free when you place an order of 500 or more. Now, don't faint when you go, $500? I could never order that much stuff. Well, you don't have to have it just your own order. You can show the catalogs to all your friends and family, gather all their orders together and place a one large order, and then you can get this for free. So it doesn't have to be you that's spending the $500. But that is really pretty. I've seen some really nice things with that. And who doesn't love the little ladybugs? They're really cool. And then of course we come to the joining part. Now I wouldn't be doing my job, and this, this is my job. I do this full time. It helps feed my family and pay the bills. Um, so I'm going to mention it because it would be a really disservice to you if I didn't. You can join Stampin' Up! Now, when you join, you don't have to do anything but purchase for yourself. You don't have to run classes. You don't have to sell to other people. You can just purchase for your own discount. And when people join my team, I never, ever put the hard word on them to do what they don't want to do. So I have a great mix of ladies in my team who purchase for themselves and others who run a business. And I support them all. I give them all the same love and attention and I never force anyone to do anything they don't want to do. When you join, it's $169 to join. When you, uh, sorry, for that $169, you get $235 worth of product. So hello, that's like more than what you're paying for. Excellent, excellent deal. During celebration, there's even more. So during celebration, you get this gorgeous little trimmer. Isn't this wonderful? It's a guillotine little trimmer. Now, it is only small, six by four, but I tell you, it is perfect when you're doing sentiments for cards and um, little bits of trimming off. This is amazing, well worth getting. But you also get, besides this, so still the same $169, you also get this pack of paper. Now, there's 48 sheets of paper in here, double sided, and it's a sampler of all the um, paper that's in the mini catalog so there's not every single piece in the mini catalog it is a sample from each of the packs in the catalog in the mini catalog so but it's a really good range so they've given you the popular ones so this is really cute look at all those animals and look the koala oh, whoops i turned this the right way around the koala perfect for australia now if you know anyone who loves koalas is worried about our wildlife and wants to help this paper is brilliant. So the stamp set that goes with that, it's got a big koala in it too. Just brilliant. Um, so all the packs of paper in the mini catalogue are all represented in this little paper pack. So like this is brilliant. I love all this paper. You can never have too much paper. So really, really cool. All right, the tropical one, the handbag one. Oh, I forget the name of that. Best dressed. Hey, I remembered. <laughs> Hey, Juanita. Is it Juanita? Am I pronouncing that properly? I hope I am. Thank you for joining me. Pineapples. I love pineapples. They don't like me, though. Too much sugar in them for me. <laughs> Beautiful tropical. And then the best dress. Mine's all a mess. They're not in any order because, um, yeah, I've been playing with it. So beautiful, beautiful. Great selection of 
um, DSP Janice Poppy's one. Beautiful. Oh. And they've even given you this one, the Lily's one. Whoops, wait, there it is. There it is. Look at that. That is gorgeous. So you get that 48 pack of paper, okay, plus a little trimmer, plus you get a stamp set of your choice. Any stamps that you want from any active catalogue. So I've just picked a few from the um okay from the sorry the mini catalog. You could get the poppies, painted poppies for free, that's very popular. Or if you like a little bit of French, you could get this one for free. Or Timeless Tropical for free. So any of the stamp sets you see in the mini catalogue, the annual catalogue, you can get for free. No limit on the price. So you can go through the catalogues and pick the most expensive stamp set. And you can get that for free when you join now until the end of March. So, I mean, that is, to me, that's a no-brainer. Because you also get free postage on this, on the starter kit. Plus, as soon as you sign up and you get your demonstrator ID, you can purchase for yourself at a 20% discount. Who doesn't love a discount? Seriously. So if you have a really big wish list, I really encourage you to join my team best thing I ever did was join Stampin' Up! I never thought that buying the, the products I love to create, create with would see me running a business, earning an income and sharing it with so many other lovely people. So if I haven't convinced you by now, I don't know what I'm going to do to convince you. So again, no pressure from me. Um, if you have any questions, give me a call, uh, email me, text me, whatever. If you're still really unsure and you need more convincing, then please reach out. But that's it from me today, okay? I think, I think I've talked enough. What do you reckon? Oh, one more thing I need to tell you. All the items in the celebration brochure, okay? So like this stamp set and the punch. Purchase any of them and I have a tutorial pack for each product in the celebration brochure. Um... To send you for free so when you purchase through me and you pick a celebration item so for example say you've picked this happy birthday to you as your free celebration item I will automatically send you a tutorial bundle using that item okay so just an extra little benefit I love to spoil my customers so and I love creating so what better way than sharing it Yes, Lisa, best job ever. And you know what? It doesn't even feel like a job. Like, I wake up every day excited because I know I'm going to be creating. And, you know, jumping on and sharing it with people in my lives is even better. So, that's enough for me today. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. And um, if you are a customer of mine, and you are in my VIP group, I will be in there on Thursday going to do another live with another crafting project. So don't forget, um, anything I create with, I use to create with, you can purchase in my online store. I have five easy ways you can order from me. You can go to my online store, you can email me, you can call me, you can text me, and you can even message me. If you're a Facebook friend, you can message me on my page, you can Facebook message me. Whatever is easiest for you to get hold of me, I'm happy to um, talk to you, take your orders, or just have a chat. So thank you, everyone. Have a fantastic week. Happy creating, and I'll see you all again next week. Bye-bye.